Former U.S. President Donald Trump is expected to appear before New York court on Tuesday. He will be the first former or sitting U.S. president to face criminal charges. The charges have not yet been revealed, but a grand jury has been investigating a payment in exchange for the silence of an adult film actress, Tommy Daniels, allegedly having an affair with Trump, which he has denied. Now, if the money was paid and not disclosed during the 2016 election campaign, it would amount to a criminal offence. Trump, meanwhile, has denied all wrongdoings and says that he has been a victim of witch hunt by the Democrats. It is Trump's unprecedented journey from the White House to the courthouse. And for more on this, uh, we are now being joined by Stephen Golub, an author, lawyer and a political analyst from the United States of America. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Golub. Thank you for having me. I want to first seek your uh, reaction. What was the first reaction of Trump's indictment? Do you think it is some kind of political martyrdom that is taking place in America? No, I don't. In fact, Donald Trump has gotten away with a lot for 50 years, going back to the 1970s when he illegally kept blacks out of the housing that he and his family owned, the apartment housing that he owned as a developer in New York City. He skirted the law a lot of times over the years. He has uh, allegedly, apparently broken the law now through these payments to the porn actress, which also get into actually violations of campaign finance law, but that's to be seen. Uh, so I'm not shocked. I certainly don't think this is a political witch hunt the way he's charging. And for what it's worth, there are other people, dozens of other people in New York in New York City, who've been charged and even convicted, not for the, exactly the same situation, because after all, he was running for president, but for analogous crimes using similar statutes. Well, absolutely, Mr. Golub. And uh, what can we expect to see on Tuesday, tomorrow, when the former U.S. president turns himself in? That's a good question. We'll see a lot of press coverage, uh, obviously. Uh, it's unclear how much the court will allow if anything, from inside the courthouse. I'm sure Donald Trump will have a lot to say from outside. Whether there'll be big protests seems likely, but not definite. Maybe there'll be counter protests against the people who are supporting him. And one other thing to look out for, you know, outside the immediate media, uh, media glare, is that on Tuesday, we're likely to find out exactly what the charges are and Absolutely. quite possibly what the evidence is against him. Right now, all we know is that he's been indicted uh, for the, the, the situation you just described, the alleged situation with the porn actress. But on Tuesday, we'll find out a lot more crucial details. Right, like you said, that the charges have not been revealed yet. And the security situation has also been beefed in New York. Uh, but uh, Trump has been asking his supporters to come out uh, in support of him. He's also asking them uh, to fund his 2024 presidential run. So how do you see all, all of these things panning out at the moment? Well, you made a great point there that he's raising money off of this. And, you know, to be frank with Donald Trump, Unlike maybe other politicians, he raises money not just for a political campaign, but sometimes that will end up indirectly in his own pocket. So that's one aspect of this. Beyond it, I think there's a good chance, it's not certain, but there's a good chance this will actually boost his chances of winning the Republican presidential nomination. In terms of the initial reaction to his indictment, even from other candidates who are competing with him, not to mention almost all Republican Party leaders, they're rallying around him. So that increases the chances of the entire party rallying around him, of uh, the, his supporters being very mobilized, and some people who might oppose him if Republican leaders were opposing him, either not opposing him within the Republican Party or cheering him on. So it helps his chances of getting the nomination. Ironically, though, if he does get the nomination, he may turn out to be the weakest Republican candidate possible because so many people in the United States have this very, very deep disregard and dislike for him. So if he's the nominee, it probably increases the chances of the Democratic candidate, most likely President Biden running for re-election, of the Democratic candidate actually winning. Right, just to add to that, Mr. Golub, Elon Musk had earlier made predictions that uh, Mr. Trump will win by landslide in 2024 if he is indicted. What is your take on this? 
Oh, I don't think so. As I said, I think he, it increases his chances of getting the nomination, although that's not certain. Uh, but because he's deeply unpopular in a good segment of the population, arguably the majority or, or very close to that, and some people who might be on the edge who might vote for another Republican candidate won't vote for him. I don't think he's a lock to win or certainly not a landslide. One other factor to mention here is that very possibly, even likely, there'll be other indictments of Donald Trump for crimes more directly related to the 2020 election and to the January 6, 2021 insurrection. And in the general election, those will probably hurt him um, a fair amount or could have hurt him a fair amount since the notion and the evidence that will come out, the notion of, a, of this former president on trial for mm -hmm. so many crimes may hurt him in the general election. But right, Mr. Golub, uh, we know that Trump has already started uh, his campaign for 2024 presidential elections. He's rallying, but how does things change from here on with the upcoming indictment taking place tomorrow? I think, you know, in some ways that the news is already out there. He's being indicted. So it will. It may depend somewhat on, as I said, what exactly is in the indictment, what charges are there, what evidence is initially available. But that kind of the political impact, except for that one crucial consideration of the uh, information, the evidence coming out, is kind of baked in. We see that he already has rallied some support, including in the leaders of his party, including people competing with him, the nomination, rallied support uh, to him. So I don't see mm. the, the dynamic changing too much unless, of course, violence erupts on Tuesday or, right. or there's some surprising evidence coming out on Tuesday. For the longer run, though, the dynamic could really shift if there are other indictments that come down the line in a month or two or three. That could really shift arguably against him for the long run. Right, Mr. Golub, uh, help us understand that what happens if the former U.S. President Donald Trump gets arrested? Uh, well, what will happen is he, um, uh, he'll go through a process in the courthouse. Unlike some, uh, some people who are charged with crimes, he won't have to be in jail overnight. Uh, there's, there are definitely special arrangements that will be made for him so that he'll be, spend an hour or two or three. He may be fingerprinted. They may take what's called a mugshot. That is a picture of him. Whether that will be released to the press or not is another matter. He'll go through various processes in the courthouse. Uh, he'll, may, he may have to plead. I'm not sure about that, but he may have to plead guilty or not guilty. He'll certainly plead not guilty on on Tuesday, and then he'll walk out and very, very likely make some kind of speech or kind of say, make some kind of statement that will probably be quite fiery and attention getting. Right. Trump's just to add to that, Trump's lawyer has clearly said uh, that the former U.S. president will not plead guilty. But uh, I want to seek your perspective regarding if you think that Trump is attempting to capitalize on his anticipated arrest over hush money payments, especially with his fundraising emails to support his presidential campaign. Oh, certainly. Yeah, he he's he's ra he's raising he's already raised a considerable amount of money several million dollars in a short amount of time since the indictment. And he's going to milk this for as much money as he can going forward. So he's definitely capitalizing on it. And as I said, he's capitalizing politically as well by rallying the leaders of the party and some of many of his followers around him, making it more likely, at least as of now, making it more likely that he'll secure the nomination. The one caveat there is that a lot can happen between now and around March or April of next year, when it will be clear whether or not he has the nomination or whether someone else is still battling with him for the nomination. Right, Mr. Gollum, last question to you before I let you go. In your viewpoint, do you think that the former U.S. President Donald Trump will get arrested? Oh, um, well, he, he'll, he'll surrender himself. So in that sense, no, he won't be arrested. I mean, if he surrenders himself, if the law enforcement, if the police come and actually get him and bring him to court against his will or force him to go with them, then he's arrested. But if he's turning himself in, voluntarily, then he then he's not really being arrested. One quick point just for looking down the line that I want to mention is that there's a very good chance then that we'll have a presidential candidate on trial for 
two, three, four different charges or four, two or three or four different trials going on at the same time while he's running for office. And it's even conceivable that he, if he's convicted, we could and if he's then elected, we could have a president serving from jail. It's very unlikely the scenarios will work out that way. But all sorts of implausible things have already happened with Donald Trump and will certainly happen in the future. But Mr. Golub, we'll have to wait and see what uh, happens tomorrow. But thank you so much for joining us and beyond, sharing your insights with us. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.